Hi, welcome to The Magic of Math, where today we're going to talk about the coordinate plane, getting to the point. Our vocabulary words that we need to review to understand our lesson today, first is coordinate plane. Here's an image of our coordinate plane. This is a two-dimensional plane that is formed by the intersection of a vertical line, the y-axis, and a horizontal line, the x-axis. So I like to think of this, it's two-dimensional, so it's two number lines. We have our horizontal number line, which we call the x-axis, and then we have our vertical number line, the y-axis, vertical, so it's two number lines. So think of this as like when you think about a thermometer, and this is when we learn to graph numbers on a number line. So horizontal intersected by a vertical. Horizontal is our x-axis, and vertical is our y-axis. So it's two-dimensional, two number lines intersecting. Let's talk about origin. Here's our coordinate plane. Origin is the point where the x-axis and the y-axis intersect. So let's look, they cross and intersect right here. This is our origin. This point is represented by the ordered pair zero, zero. So that is its name. We'll go over ordered pairs further in the video, but this is its name. The point of intersection is the origin and it's named by zero, zero. Now let's talk about the quadrants. So here is our image of our coordinate plane, and you can see it's divided into four sections formed by the X and Y axis. So the X axis and the Y axis intersect, sectioning this off into four sections. So we wanna talk about naming those quadrants so that we can say where ordered pairs or points are located on the coordinate plane. Now, when we go to name these, we must use Roman numerals, and Roman numerals are used on um, letters like I and V, sometimes X, but we're only going to talk about, we have four quadrants, so we only need four numbers. So this is one, two, three, and this is four. And we don't use normal numbers like one, two, three, four. We have to use our Roman numeral numbers. So now, this is the one thing, or not the only thing, but one of the things in math that I think isn't orderly, because I always think everything in math is so orderly. But when we talk about naming these four quadrants, we go in a counterclockwise direction. So we start here with quadrant one, and then we're gonna go counterclockwise around the coordinate plane to name it. So it's not like you would normally see a clock going motion, it's the opposite. We name it going counterclockwise. So quadrant one, quadrant two, quadrant three, and quadrant four. Now let's talk about an ordered pair or a point, and this gives the location of the point on the coordinate plane. So here's our coordinate plane and our four quadrants. We have our x-axis, our horizontal, and our y, our vertical axis, intersecting at that origin point. Now let's talk about the ordered pairs. Any ordered pair in quadrant one is going to be positive, positive. Any ordered pair in quadrant two will have a negative x-coordinate and a positive y-coordinate. In quadrant three, both coordinates will be negative, and in quadrant four, the x-coordinate will be positive and the y-coordinate will be negative. So now it's your turn. What I would like you to do is pause the video now and name the quadrant filling in this box for each of the coordinating colors. So we have four colors on our coordinate plane, four colored dots here. These are your points, and I want you to fill out what quadrant each one of these colored points lie in. Please pause now and come back and hit play when you're done. Welcome back. So as we look at this, the first thing I want to do is I want to label my coordinate plane so that I have a visual so it's very easy to go fill in my boxes. So we start in this quadrant right here. This is quadrant one, two, three, four. Using my Roman numerals and now I can go and find them. So my orange point is over here in quadrant three. That's quadrant three. The pink is over here in quadrant one. The green is over here in quadrant four. 
and the red is over here in quadrant two. So when I went and did this, notice I named my quadrants first, knowing what I knew, and then all I had to do was go fill in the blanks. I didn't have to think about it and recount it every time I did it. Just a strategy. Now let's talk about naming ordered pairs. Just like you have a name, ordered pairs have a name. Remember that name tells you the location of the point on our coordinate plane. So to name this point on the coordinate plane, we need to recognize that we name it by writing it in this format. It's in parentheses and we have an X coordinate comma Y coordinate. Remember a coordinate plane is two dimensional. We have an X axis and a Y axis and we name it alphabetically. Our X location comma our Y location. So the first thing we want to do when we're naming a point is we're going to start at the origin that's your starting point. And to get the X coordinate, we're going to either say it's positive we have to go right to it or negative if we have to go left. So let's go. We're starting at our origin point and we're going to go to the right. So that means we're going positive. One, two, three, four, five. So the X coordinate here is five. So we can go ahead and start our naming. Parenthesis five comma. Now we need to know the second part of the name. Think of it as a first name and a last name. So we need our Y coordinate. When we say that we're going from that location, if we go up, the value is positive. If we go down, the value is negative. So from here, we need to go up. So we know it's going to be positive and we're going to go one, two, three. So there we go. We're at three on the Y axis. So the second part of our ordered pair is three. So the ordered pair five, three names this point on our coordinate plane. We went to the right five on the X axis, and then we had to go up three looking at our Y axis, five, three. Okay, now we're gonna name this one together. So we see this point right here is in quadrant one, two, three. It's in quadrant three and we're gonna name it. So once again, we name it by an X and a Y location. Remember thinking of it as a first and a last name. So we're gonna start at our origin and the first thing we wanna do is find our X location. So in order to head towards that point on my X axis, I have to go left. So I know my value is gonna be negative. Negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four. Now I can start naming. So the first part X is negative four. Now remember Y, we're gonna either have to go up positive or down negative. I can see that my location of my point is going to be negative, we're going down. So we're gonna head down one, two, three, four. So we went down four on our Y axis, giving us our Y coordinate of negative four. So the location of this point on the coordinate plane is negative four, negative four. Now it's your turn. I would like you to name each of these four points on the coordinate plane. Please pause the video now and come back when you're ready to check your work. Welcome back. So here's our solution. We're gonna start with the orange. We're gonna start at our origin and we're gonna go one, two, three to the right and then up one. So positive, positive. So our name is three, one. Second point is our pink. We're gonna start at our origin and we're gonna go left. One, two, three, four, five, and it's negative because we're going left. And then up, positive two. So negative five, two is the name of the pink point. Let's look at the green down here. We're gonna start at the origin. We're gonna go left, so negative one, and then we're gonna go down, so it's negative, negative one, negative two, negative three. So negative one, negative three. And then our blue point, we're gonna go to the right, so positive, one, two, three, four, 
five, six, and then negative two, one, two. So six, negative two. So X and then Y, alphabetical. Now let's talk about graphing a point. So now I've given you the ordered pair, the location of the point on the coordinate plane. So once again, we're gonna start at the origin, understanding that we have an X and a Y, and we're gonna go in the X direction first, left or right, and then in the Y. So let's start at our origin, and we know that we are gonna go left because our X is negative two. So one, two, so we're going to negative two on our horizontal X axis. And then our second is our Y, which means we're gonna go up if it's positive and down if it's negative. And it's negative two, so we're heading down to one, two, negative two, and there is our point and we plot it. So left, negative two, down negative two, and plot your point starting at the origin. Now it's your turn. I would like you to graph the ordered pair four, negative three on the coordinate plane. Go ahead and pause the video now and come back and hit play when you're ready. Welcome back. So we're going to remember that we have an X and a Y coordinate forming this ordered pair and we're going to first start with the X. So we have four and it's positive, so that means we're going right. So starting at the origin, we're gonna go right four. One, two, three, four. And then we have our Y, which is negative three, reminding us that when it's negative, we're going down. So from our four, we're gonna go down three. One, two, three and that's negative three on our Y axis and plot our point and there we have it. Four negative three is in our fourth quadrant and there is our location. And there you have it. That is reviewing the coordinate plane as we got to the point. I thank you for joining me today at The Magic of Math where we continue to master math one video at a time. I hope you'll come back soon and have a great day.